Welcome back to the channel. I'm Trabin, and in today's video, we're doing 24 books that I'd like to read in 2024. All right, I'm trying to keep this one short so that um, we're not having like a 50 minute video. So I'm just gonna go into uh, my notes here. I've got a 24 in 2024 uh, list with some different, some quick notes about each title. I'll put them up here um, and we'll chat about them real quick. We'll also talk about some of my plans for the future of the channel uh, coming up in the next year. So number one on my list is Bookshops and Bone Dust. This is the prequel to Legends and Lattes by Travis Baltry. Um, I'm interested in this one, but a little bit nervous because it is a prequel and um, there's a bit of tension lost when you do a prequel book. Uh, we have The Poisons We Drink. It sounds a bit like the Prospero War trilogy um, in that there's this illicit love potion uh, trade in the city. So kind of like an urban fantasy kind of story. Uh, How to Solve Your Own Murder by Kristen Perrin. Uh, it's been compared to Knives Out and gives me a mix of the 22 murders of Madison May and everyone in my family has killed someone. So kind of playing with those um, whodunit tropes. To Gaze Upon Wicked Gods by Molly X. Chang uh, could be the start of a new epic fantasy series that I want to follow. Has a gorgeous cover. Uh, the, reappearance, the Reappearance of Rachel Price by Holly Jackson. It's another small town murder mystery by the same author who did uh, A Good Girl's Guide to Murder. And um, it's nice to see someone reappearing rather than dying, as is the case in a lot of these books. Um, when Among Crows by Veronica Roth. Uh, from the description, this could be another, another good urban fantasy read. Some really wild concepts like soul weapons and emotion eating. So that sounded really cool. Uh, A Crane Among Wolves by June Herr. Um, I'm intrigued for this one mostly because it is based on Korean history, uh, and that's one uh, of the East Asian cultures that I'm least familiar with. So I'm interested in seeing a historical uh, mystery or historical drama set in that time and place. One Perfect Couple by Ruth Ware. I just finished The Turn of the Key. I liked it enough to check out a second book. Uh, the premise sounds good, but I swear to God, if this is Harper's Island again, I will lose my mind. Horror movie by Paul Tremblay. Uh, he has admittedly been hit or miss for me. I read uh, Growing Things the year before last, um, but the setup of the story about a cursed film getting a remake sounds really cool. It's it's hitting a lot of the, the buttons that I want to to check out. What the River Knows was both the Barnes & Noble book club selection for the year and the December Fairy Loot book. So I feel like the universe is telling me I need to read this book, so I'm definitely going to get that one in. Uh, Somna is a dark witch trial era thriller that sounds incredibly intriguing and looks amazing. Uh, Miss Marvel, The New Mutant. So this one is co-written by Iman Vellani, the actress who plays Miss Marvel in the TV show and the films. I told myself I would wait for reviews before picking it up, and the reviews all sound positive, so I'm going to give it a chance. I'm not a huge fan of some of the choices they've made, but I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try it out. Uh, Serial is a comic with the old uh, horror movie Serial mascots uh, that's billed as a horror comedy, so that just sounded like a lot of fun. Everything is Fine is a surreal police state comic, um, where they describe everything looks exactly the same and everything's perfectly fine and it's very intriguing from the premise. Uh, Love Af Everlasting, again, sounds similar to the 22 Murders of Madison May where a character keeps hopping dimensions into failed or troubled relationships. So that sounds very... An another interesting premise. Uh, Flick is Mouse Meets Tokyo Vice. There are these anthropomorphic animals... Uh, being used to explore uh, police overreach or police corruption, I believe. Uh, the Man in the Mikitosh Suit uh, is a Depression-era noir story, and that's all I need to know to pick it up. Uh, Chroma has gorgeous art and a plot that's reminiscent of Slay the Princess, a video game I'm playing right now, which I'm enjoying immensely. 
Festival of Shadows is a Japanese ghost story that seemed like it'll have a lot of heart. Goodbye Airy is from the Chainsaw Man creator. Uh, it deals with film creation as a central concept, and it deals with uh, grease and loss and having those different elements to it. Um, again, a lot of things that really appeal to me um, with its subject matter. Bone Orchard, A Thousand Black Feathers. Bone Orchard as an as a concept sounds very intriguing, uh, similar to the Magnus Archives in terms of world building and the way that they're releasing it. Um, I want to look up The Passageway, which was the first set or the first story from this setting as well. Um, but as far as I understand, these are standalone stories in a larger horror universe. Akane Banashi, uh, this came up in several lists, and I will admit that I kind of glanced over it the first couple of times, but it is a manga series that focuses on Rakugo, which is a Japanese traditional art of storytelling, and I don't see that very often. I feel like that's going to be a very interesting uh, subject to tackle in that, uh, in that style. And then finally, we have uh, both World Tree and Sandman Universe Nightmare Country, both are written by James Tinian IV, which is all I need to pick them up. Um, but World Tree looks like it has a plot, something to do with the Undernet. It uses Leet Speak, which is funny, though I'm not sure it's meant to be. Um, and then Sandman Universe uh, is also in a universe that I already am familiar with and enjoy. So that is 24 titles for 2024 that I'm interested in picking up. Um, a few other things that I plan on doing for 2024 is trying to get a little bit more consistent with my uh, release schedule. Um, I want to continue with my Treasured Tome series. I would like to start up looking at the Fairy Loop titles as well because I feel like those are some of the more popular YA titles that are being released that I'm looking at. And then um, the big thing for the start of this year is going to be the Manga Tournament 2024, in which I have bought uh, 16 number one volumes of manga, and I am going to um, organize them into brackets. I'm going to read them uh, two at a time, determine a winner, and if the winner goes on to the next round, then I pick up the next volume in that comic and it goes against a win the winner of another bracket. So uh, the video for seeding the bracket should be up on Thursday. And then uh, I plan on doing a quick video uh, for each of the various um, games, essentially. Each of the various, uh, this manga versus this manga. Um, and just giving a quick rundown using the call pile method of what I liked and didn't like about the book and then declaring a winner and we'll progress throughout the next couple of months and figure out uh, which one is going to get the number one spot. Uh, whichever one does get the number one spot, I will uh, continue that series. I will complete that series and then likely I will go back and pick up a few others um, because I doubt that only one is going to stand out as something worthwhile. Um, and so, yeah, those are my big plans for 2024. Uh, those are my reading goals that I'd like to get done. Um, I did set my reading goal this year for 200 books rather than 365. Um, I think I mentioned that in my stats video that it was just too much to do that all together. So uh, too much to do that year to year. Uh, I'm going to slow down this year. I might tackle 365 again at some point, but it's not going to be in 2024. Um, as always, I hope your reading journey is going well. Uh, please let me know down in the comments what books are you most looking forward to in 2024. Maybe throw out some other suggestions of what you think might look interesting in the world of horror, sci-fi, fantasy, manga, comic books, um, the genres that I, I tend to gravitate towards. I'm always looking for suggestions, and this is honestly not something that I usually keep track of. So um, yeah, like, comment, subscribe, help us build this corner of our booktube community, 
And until the next one, take care.